She earns £500 a week and she's got a Mercedes. Welcome to Intentionally Broke. My name is James Hayes. Today we're going to be reacting to Spendaholic spends thousands of pounds in a day, obsessive shoppers, only human. Let's get straight into the video. It's thought that as many as 8 million people in the UK have a compulsive buying disorder. 8 million people in the UK have a compulsive buying disorder. This, this is something that really bothers me. Why are so many people obsessed with spending money? I just don't understand it. Shopping is my life. Like, I live to shop. You live to shop. You better fucking be able to afford this. I'm not married yet, and shopping is like my husband, like my companion. This is a big problem when you start substituting real relationships with people to something like shopping. Because your desires are infinite, but your money, no matter how rich you are, you can always outspend what you're earning. I've been told about 30-year-old Dipna, a self-confessed shopping addict. So she's 30 years old and she's a self-confessed shopping addict. Do we think she's cash flowing this? Type in the comments. Is she cash flowing this shopping addiction or is she in credit card debt? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. I reckon that she's in debt. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Capable of spending thousands in a single transaction. Thousands in a single transaction. I don't think I could spend a thousand dollars a day, even if I went out to do it. I just couldn't. I just couldn't. For example, one of the things I really want to do is go to the local market and just buy whatever the fuck I want. Uh, go out for, for a fancy dinner or something. I just, I can't bring myself to spend that kind of money. And what, what's she spending her money on? Let's see what she's spending her money on. I do feel as if it's out of my control. I might not want to buy, but I just buy it. I don't understand this. I, I get it might be an addiction, but if you don't want to do something, don't fucking do it. That's a massive wardrobe. I don't think I've had enough clothes in my life to fill this up. She's filled a wall of wardrobes with designer jewellery, shoes, blazers. How the fuck is she wearing all this? She's not wearing all this. 100%. And bags. Oh, she's... Oh, no. She's got... Ha she's got designer handbags. Uh, does she have any money in those handbags? Let's see. This was 3000 $3,000! 30 years of age. If she invested $3,000 cash into the S&P 500 from age 30 to 65, this is how much she would have. She lost all that money for a handbag. This was $1,600. $1,600 for that bag. And the wallet was about £700. £700? Ugh! I got credit cards. Ah, she's got credit cards. She's got credit cards. I fucking knew it. She's got credit cards. Let's see. Let's see how much debt she's got. I got credit cards. That's probably the worst thing that I could have done. Here's the thing. There's a lot of people in my comments who say credit cards aren't bad. They're not bad. If you fucking pay them off and you use it for shit that you're going to spend anyways. But did you know you spend more on a credit card because there's less financial friction. The idea is, if you're paying with cash, you put, you buy something for $50 and give a $100 note and you get $50 back, right? So you, you see that your money's disappearing. If you use a debit card, well, it takes you a while to see, but you can see. You've got a couple more things to do. You've got to open up your app and see how much money that you've got left in your bank account. But at credit card, you can leave it till next month to pay it off or do what I'm pretty sure she's done and just pay the minimum, pay the minimum, keep paying the minimum while the debt piles up. Despite living at home, earning £500 a week teaching and writing about cookery and co-managing her dad's restaurant, Dipna is struggling to fund her habit. Dipna! For fuck's sake, you silly goop. So she's earning 500 pounds a week and she thinks she can spend 1,500 pounds on a bag? What the fuck is wrong with people? She works three weeks just for one fucking handbag, right? But she's not even paying it off. That's the, that's the big problem here. ...about cookery and co-managing her dad's restaurant, Dipna is struggling to fund her habit. I'm in about 7,500 pound debt. 7,500 pound debt. 
The thing is, you see £7,500 and you think, that's not a lot of money. But to her, she earns £500 a week. It's going to take her a long time to pay this debt off. These earrings are like £200 each. Oh my god. Look, look, for fuck's sake. I'm not a sophisticated gentleman. But it just looks like a kid's little jewellery box. Shit jewellery. When I can't go shopping, it depresses me. I've cancelled work just so that I can go shopping. Oh. I know that's not a good thing. It's fucking terrible, Dipna. I can't imagine there being absolutely no shopping. I don't know what I would do. What else would I do? I've heard this before. What would I do without shopping? Pay off your fucking debt? Uh, save and invest for your future. I knew someone who worked with me in hospitality who had all designer clothing and she was earning $600 a week. This is what disgusts me about people is people want to look rich but they won't actually do the hard yards to become rich. Dipna already has more clothes than she could possibly wear. See, that's my major point here. Not only is she looking rich, she's not actually rich, and she's not even, she's wasting so many clothes. See no signs of her slowing down. How much did you spend yesterday? Oh, £1,500. She spent £1,500 in a day. In a day. On what? Didn't want to, but try not to think about it. Try not to think about it. There's your problem. If you find yourself in credit card debt or you find yourself uh, becoming a shopaholic, be very, very careful because you have one chance in your 20s and your 30s to save and invest your money to be able to retire either rich or with a very good passive income. You have to get your shit together. You can't just be willy nilly like this woman here. Most of the things she buys are pushed to the back of her cupboards and still have their labels on. Why? What's it's quite a lot there you haven't used. Yeah. But then when you... What's the point to it all then? If you're not gonna fucking wear it, what's the point to it? Go to the shop and you see it, and it's just that moment and you're just like, oh that's really nice. Or oh, what the hell, just buy it. You're not in control. You're not you're not really able to say Yeah, you are in fucking control. It's your choice to do this. No, I'm not I'm not buying it. No. I'm unable to do that. Who's in control? The little voice inside of me. <laughs> 600 pounds. You look like you don't like them. They're fucking disgusting and you spent 600 pounds over a week's worth of your wage on these things. They're not my cup of tea, is the honest really? truth. But that doesn't matter because yeah. I'm not going to be wearing them. How 485 pounds. Neither is she. She's not going to be fucking wearing them. How, how much how much is this belt but that doesn't matter because yeah. i'm not going to be wearing them <laughs> 485 pounds. 485 for that oh my gosh yes i said to mum right that's it now oh uh, of course i've got a fucking mercedes in the front is this mum and dad's mercedes or is this her mercedes please tell me it's not her mercedes I start saving up because i'm gonna buy a car have you already got a car yeah but the car new. i've got is the old Mercedes. Ah! It's her fucking car. She earns 500 pounds a week and she's got a Mercedes. I don't fucking have a car. I don't have a car. She's got a Mercedes and she's broke. Oh my gosh. This again reinforces what I say. Broke people look rich. It just fucking boggles me. She's got a Mercedes. She's got a Mercedes. New one. Oh, 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 wait up. She wants a new one because the old one, what? Is the old model? This woman's going to be broke her whole fucking life. Now, in a few months, a new shape. So, so like, nice. I've got my heart set on. Oh, do ya? And it's really important to have the new shape. Yeah. And I'll take it on lease. And if I'm paying that off every month, I know I'll have that pressure. That might stop me from shopping so much. But it won't. It won't. You're already £7,500 in debt. Getting the newest Mercedes because you like the shape of it is not going to help you one bit. Where's her parents? Why aren't her parents just smacking her across the head? If my mum found out that I was in £7,500 in debt, I don't think I'd be able to live with her. 
she would literally skin me alive. Where's this woman's parents? Anyways, thanks for watching. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more and let me know what you thought.